Hello everybody and welcome back to another American Truck Simulator video. Today we are in Austin, Texas. We're going to be heading to... Uh, I will attempt to say the name of this place. Villa Alhambra. Uh, we're going to take this uh, EC220 bubble excavator down there. It's 45,000 pounds, 45,128 pounds to be exact. Uh, we're in the Dooms, DDC Peterbilt 370 now, I call them Dooms, if we call them Dome, I just, that's just what I do. It's got a C16, uh, 1000 horsepower engine in it with 18 speed, uh, tri-axle, it's got the lift axle, the lift steer axle on it. Um, yeah, we're just using a standard, uh, uh, low boy trailer over here. So, um, we got 832 miles, so it's going to take, what, 20 hours almost to go. Um, so, we might as well just go ahead and get started, huh? We got a full tank of fuel, well, almost a full tank. Um, so we shouldn't have to stop and fuel for a little while. This thing does suck the fuel down, though, so. But, anyway, let's hit the road. Before we do that, i got to change this thing to manual. Gameplay, controls, automatic, H shifter is what we want. Oh, excuse me, hold on a second, I gotta get a drink. I'm trying out my microphone on my headset today, so if it ain't good quality, I apologize. But. I want to give it a try. I mean, you ain't got to have my other microphone sh shoved in my face and I got to look around it and stuff. It's just a, a nuisance. But we're going to try this, see how it goes. Um, the quality is probably not going to be very good, but you know, it is what it is. I apologize. If it's real bad, then we'll just go back to the other one. Uh, but this video will be this microphone. I probably won't switch it uh, in this video. Let's, uh, um, Let's get to trucking here. In we got a Turn left. Mr. Fo Mr. Freeman here as our navigator today. What time is it? Hold on. I gotta take my medicine. Totally forgot. One second here. I just gotta swallow her down. Okay. Break off, we're good to go. Got her in gear. Got the windows down so you can listen to a sweet Z16 Caterpillar. Let's start engines by Z mods, by the way. the C-16 engine. They're loading terribly heavy. I bought a lot heavier ones. Go ahead and drop our axle down. Just to make it look like it's even heavier. We're using K-Dog's coast to, or K-Dog's map. It's like all the maps mods put together in one. Well, I had to dumb the graphics down a little bit, and it's still running kind of choppy, as you can see. So it's too bad. We won't. I'll just stop the video and we'll just do something else. I'll take it out. But I'd like to get to the bottom of Mexico. It's that way I can get my run. It goes all the way up north to uh, like Alaska. I'd like to do that. That'd be a nice, nice run to do. It'd be a long one, but it'd be nice. You're looking at probably 10 hours real life. It'd be a couple, couple weeks in the games. turbo winding up, making that boost. Mm -hmm. 
And Soldier Mold is supposed to make the dash lights green when you turn the lights on, but I haven't drove enough time to see about that. I like different colored dash lights. I like a purple colored with the white face like this, but purple backlighting. Love that. But unfortunately, this dude only made the green one, so until I go in there and figure out how to change it, we're going to be stuck with green. Now, I try to drive semi realistic in this game, like I would in real life. Of course, there's limits. You know, I can only go so much, do so much in the game. So, uh, if you like those people that stream and they're like flying down through here, hitting traffic, flipping their trucks over, and all that shit, that's, that's not going to happen here. We're just a boring, you know, try to be realistic driving. Okay, we should be good to go now. Got it first, yep. Easy drink, easy. Don't explode on me. So how's everybody doing out there in over YouTube land, huh? Yeah, it's been doing pretty good. I woke up in the morning. Well, I woke up like about 9, 11, 10, 11 a.m. I had a fucking headache from hell, man. I don't know if it's because I was hungry or why, but I took a couple of Tylenols and it's starting to, starting to go away a little bit. I was tired too, so that might have been a problem. I slept for. I don't even know what time I went to bed last night. I passed out at some point. I got up at like 2 a.m. the morning before, yesterday morning. I know I was awake until at least 6 or 7. Ate dinner and then went and dug a bush up, and after that, I showered and changed my clothes. And Passed the fuck out, I guess. Really don't remember. Exit left. The little shepherds. Red Rover, Red Rover, I'm banging this big ass truck over. The window is up. Mexico. Keeps giving me an encoder overloaded air. Let's see if it straightens itself out here. I mean, from the preview, it looks okay, but. I'm pushing the limits of what I can do here with the with the equipment I got. So, Keep left. But yeah, I'm still trying to bring you guys the high quality uh, deal. You know, halfway decent anyway. But straight straighten out. We're not straighten out. We're not going to be doing this loads. Yeah, cut me off, you jackass. Keep right. And then exit right. 
there. The next exit. Exit right. Uh, Mr. Freeman, I got you, buddy. Ten four. Exiting right. Come on, get in there. Oh, no one three. Accidentally tapped the wrong damn button. That's the only thing about having the button on the steering wheel is to the gear shifts. You go to turn, you hit the wrong one every once in a while. It's all good though. I should straighten out since we get out of town here. Austin's a pretty big town. Nice Ford pickup trucker. I like how they update the AI vehicles too, that's pretty neat. So if you look back when it first came out, look at the AI vehicles, they're totally different than what you see now. Believe it, I got over 3,000 hours in this game on Steam. That's just on Steam. That's not including my other playing. Right, he said. Could be the tree mod I put in too. It makes the trees more realistic. Gives them 4K trees. And they look fucking good too. They look a hell of a lot better than what the defaults look like. They actually look like trees instead of green blobs. That could be the culprit. Oh, Why it's running so bad. I think we can get through it. You son of a chicken dick licking. I'm glad I can't catch up to you. I'd be on your ass like a snake on glass. But that make no sense whatsoever. have a realistic AI traffic mod in but I think it was they made it they imported it from like Euro Trucker or something because everybody stay in the everybody stay in the left lane they went driving the right lane I think it was yeah from Euro Trucker or something it wasn't meant for American it said American Truck Simulator on it I took that mod out and everybody's driving right again now so we'll X that mod The old Doom's Peterbilt 379. It's a good truck. One of my favorites. Like my second favorite. First favorite is the Volvo's BN 780s. I love those things. Those things are like the Cadillacs trucks. They ride smooth. Could be a little biased too. I did drive one for a long, long time. So I drove a I drove a Volvo, I drove a KWW 900, I drove P 379, uh, Kenworth T2000, uh, International Eagle uh, I 980s. Uh, what else did I drive? Freightliner, Cascadia, the older ones, not the newer ones. Uh, I've never drove a Mac. Drove a high no. Basically like a Nissan. A little box truck. It was a hunk of shit too, let me tell you. Continue straight. No power whatsoever in it. Any better off hooking your lawnmower up to the front of it and pulling it. Had that little four cylinder in it. Looked like it came out of a car. I think I had those in Nissan. It's either a Nissan or a Mitsubishi. I 
got the high nose and the fusus. F U S U fusu. Yeah, it was a neat one because the fusus are Mitsubishis. So, they never drove a fusu. Use your little remote thing and push the button to help you get up out of it. Somebody dropped the remote down the side of it yesterday and it was on the ground, so I reached down into the side of it trying to pull the remote back up. Can, took a chunk of skin off my palm of my hand, a big chunk. It hurts like hell now. So I just left the damn thing down there where it was. download each of them, each map mod trying to get them all to work together I mean he's basically done that for you and connected the roads and everything it's pretty cool oh shit oh shit neutral, don't want that one either. Coming over here, buddy. Let me squeeze in there. I'm coming over if you want me to or not, but... Put a little big old dodge. Bam, I guess. That's what it'd be called now. Load of culvert. See me pipe there, huh? Floating the gears, that's the reason you hear the jake brake coming on. He's wondering. Floating it with him on, which I shouldn't really do, but. Do it. These, uh, G29 steering wheel. Pro, uh, pro shifter shifting knob, gearbox thing, whatever you want to call it. The farming simulator button box thing, I use that too. That's basically what I got to play with. Got three Samsung, what are they, 34 inch monitors, 42 inch, I'm not too sure what they are. I got three of them. Custom built PC 
Creek. Which is actually like a workstation powerhouse. It's not made, I didn't build it for gaming, I built it for, you know, 3D modeling and rendering images, video editing, all that shit. But it runs games pretty damn good. It's got that GeForce RTX 3070 in it, overclocked. Uchi edition, some gigabyte. And then the Threadripper processor, which overclocks itself to like 500 gigahertz, 16 core, 32 thread. I got 32 gigabytes for hands. I don't remember what type they are, but what we got to work with here. I how much time we got to get there in. We got 50 hours to get there in, so it's going to take us 16. I believe we're still in Texas. I ain't seen a sign that says otherwise. Using Jazz Cat's uh, AI pack too. That could be why it's running the way it is. Either that or the K Dog map mod. I could turn the traffic down. Let's look. I don't know if that's really what's doing it or not. Download a twin turbo C16. I ain't tried to do it yet though. Try to stay at least three seconds behind that car. It really should be in speed we're going, it should be about six seconds behind, but of course in game it's different. I tried that uh, Truck World Australia or World of Trucks Australia Driving School. Well, I guess it's Australia is just driving school. It's pretty cool. I like it. Gives you. Ah, when I first seen it, I thought of Farming Simulator 22. That's what I thought when I first seen it. So. If you play Farming Simulator, you have an idea about what, what it looks like. I had everything turned up on high, so I seem to run pretty decent. I think it'll be alright. They said they didn't plan on modding it being moddable as it releases, but they said that hopefully, eventually, they will add that support into it. So I don't know. If it's going to do very good or what, to tell you the truth, I mean, there's no multiplayer, you can't mod it. It's just basically driving around Australia. Um, they got a, it's made by a small team of people, so. Um, of course, SCS started off as a small team, too. But one thing is, you're going to give SCS a run for its money, so they should start popping out uh, new updates and stuff. Trying to make the game better, it'd be good competition, uh, I think. I'm always 
you gonna like American Truck Simulator no matter what. Three thousand hours on my Steam account of playtime. turned on so of course I only got the lights on this truck I only got lights on the bumper that flash but no beacon option Turn right. 
You're going the right turn, Mr. Freeman. Got you loud and clear, buddy. Whoa! Locked it up. I seen they're adding a new, uh, next version of the game. 1.4767? Whatever the next version is. So if you're adding, uh, like, bios and stuff to the road, that's gonna be pretty cool. They're adding that, and they're adding a distance sensor, so if you come up too fast on a car, the brakes will automatically come on and slow you down when you're using the cruise control. That's gonna be pretty cool. Yeah, I know. went straight Let it low dip Uh, there's a truck stop up here, so we're good. Yeah, Orange gauges and green needles. I thought it would be green, red needles and green gauges. Squeaky chair, brand new fucking thing in a squeeze. I don't have a Vicky Zone either. Do I? There to go. Not very bright. Nighttime, they're real bright. But right now, they're not very bright. Got the Adam to back the trailer. I ran out of money, that's what it was. That's Oh well. We gotta worry about the DOT anyway. Alright, we should be good to go for another couple hundred miles. No, we could 
could uh, add some meat, but I add some lights to our trailer. It should be on there, but there wasn't. All right. To repair, upgrade, or service your truck, please click here. Something like damage or wheels are wearing out on me. Don't nope, don't want that. That's the truck. Want the trailer? Okay. Right. The weekends. Let's do the vegan ones. We'll go stay out. Oversized load. Flaps, trigger lights. Flag. Flag. Alright, now we've got lights on the back of it. Should be good. Change the tires, I'll do that off screen later on. Put the right wheels and rims on it. Okay. Okay, I'm packed in here wall to wall and treetop tall, buddy. We got no lights. Apologies. Go. It's raining like a mother trucker out there, isn't it? I think it's set to auto wiper, so the amount of rain affects how fast they go. It should be anyway. I hear you, Mr. Freeman. you to drive and park they got you coming up out of my mind. I'll tell you what that dirt's kinda slick. Kinda cool it's the way it is. Oh shit. Mm. Yep, the dirt's a little slick. It kinda makes me wonder what happens when you get up like north of the part of Australia where there's snow up on the mountains and shit. What that's gonna be like. Uh oh. Finger. Stuck in the steering wheel. Damn. Ow. It's like a hole in the back of the pedal things. Finger got stuck in there. I was ripping my fingernail off. I hurt like a bitch. snow and stuff to this game that would be pretty cool. Like seasons. Keep left. And then turn left. Turn left. What the hell's going on there? It's like it's lose traction. Go. 
I feel there too. In 400 meters, turn left. If we're on that left turn, 400 meters. Chair and that thing squeaks like a mother trucker. Alright, we gotta decide whether we want us to drive through the night or we gonna sleep to pick it up in the morning. We got enough time. We gotta worry about that. I don't know, we'll drive to, we'll drive to about 10, 11 o'clock, something like that, and then we'll sleep until 4 or 5 in the morning. Get up and continue probably. A little big nighttime driving fan in this game. It's just too damn dark, I think, anyway. Of course, you use the project next is graphics mods and a skybox, even his road texture. And a lot of the sounds are from the mods, too. I got almost all his uh, American truck. Cheap letter sounds. It's a long little old hill right here. Doing that shit down there jiggling the internet cord. 
Chile. HCF sauce makes it where you get out of the truck and walk around. But they end up doing that. That's a nice feature to the uh, world of trucks. You can get up and walk around, pick whatever truck you want. Pretty cool. I mean, you can basically do that now if you use just a free cam thing, but kind of a uh, kind of a clunky. The controls are clunky on it. Can't act with the gauges. That ain't no big. They ain't really that big of a deal to me. Whether you can, I can look around, click on the gauge or not. But really, I'm more of a. Does it feel when you're driving it? You know, does it feel like you're really driving a truck? More of that than uh, actually being able to push the buttons. I'd rather fit the the uh, core of the game. I guess you could say. I think graphics would be the second thing. Graphics are a big thing to me. I'll play fucking hard trucks too if I have to. I mean, look at the graphics on that guy. something where it takes you a mile to get down the road because it's fucking it's lagging or jumping or whatever you are. I bet it's that jazz pack. Car pack, AI car pack that's doing it. That or it could be the K Dogs. I've used K Dogs map before and it didn't do this, but this is this updated version. I don't want that. They don't put the uh, K Dogs before your project next gen when you're on your mod list. Don't put it above it. Everything will be black. You won't have no textures on anything. You'll see the reflections, but everything's black. been 50 minutes we got 200 more miles to go pretty damn close when we get there we'll have to find a little going south that's going to be the hard part I've done a long load like this in a little while, actually. It's kind of nice. Keep 
play with Mr. Brinkman. I don't know what the hell is going on with my voice. It's been, it's been like this for a couple of days. It just changes. It'll be low pitch, high pitch. I don't know what the deal is with it. That's a pretty big town. What town is this? Van Horn? Ready to push the button to go find out, but that button. There we go. There's a button that makes it zoom in and out. I know there is. El Paso. There we go. We used a regular GPS instead of a AI one, UI one. It's like a bitch, man. No whiskey in your hand. I use my right hand's the one I scanned up. Dude pissed me off and I broke the mirror on his truck when I was back in high school. During lunch break, we used to go down to the pizza place, play a little pool, eat some pizza. We went over to Votech. Dude pissed me off. I went out there and I busted the shit out of his fucking beer on his truck. Bam! I hit that thing with the palm of my hand and cut a big old chunk of my hand off. I got a big ass scar right there now. Keep right. I should have went to the and doctor and got it. Right stitches put in but I didn't instead I went to my grandma she used to be a nurse a long long time ago Exit right. um, she had me stick my hand in a bucket full of fucking salt water for like three or four minutes that damn shit hurt like a bitch then she put tobacco on it from a cigarette Keep right. and then taped it all up to where I couldn't even move my hand it looked like I had like a mitten on it it's like, how the hell am I supposed to do anything with this? Oh, we don't want to turn there. We want to turn it up here. That right there loops it back around onto the interstate. Right. It healed back up and everything, though, so it didn't really hurt. It just ripped the, cut the fucking skin off. So good the muscle. I stabbed in the back of my arm doing shit that I shouldn't have been doing. Got a big ass scar there. Attacked by a dog on my hand. My hand's all scarred up my fingers. The dog bite me on the fucking side. Now I got a big ass scar there. Got a scar on my thumb where I had my very first bicycle wreck. When I was little. Lee, we little, we little lad. I think that's it. I got a scar on my eye somehow. I got a scar on my cornea, or whatever the hell that thing is called on my eye. Everything's blurry. So there ain't nothing they can do about that. It's one eye, it's just going to be blurry. No, she's 16. You're torquing over, too. Easily don't split the basement gears to the low side of the range. The, on the high side, I usually split those like bit six and on up. There's a low. Unless you got a real heavy load, there ain't no point in splitting the, uh, the bottom gears.
trees though. Why does not do that on all of them? Pop it up like that, discovered. Maybe because I already discovered Tucson back here, or El Paso, it means. Excuse me. I'm the brother of a truck driving mother. Take your truck driving test. Do not float the gears. Make sure you double clutch on it or they'll pull you. Even though hardly anybody out here in the trucking world fucking double clutch it, it's what you gotta do it on your driving test. That, don't ever tell the instructor he's a stupid fucking idiot. That'll get you in trouble too. No, that's, that driving test ain't that hard. You gotta call out the signs like what's on like a, like a stoplight, a head sign there. Speed limit 35 ahead. I gotta call them out like that. Taking the light, red light. If it's green, it's been green for a while, you gotta tell them, you know, still green light. That means the light that's getting ready to change at any second. Make sure you can see the rubber, where the rubber meets the road over the hood of your truck, too. Let's see that was that far back behind. Make sure you check your gauges and your mirrors like every 60 seconds, 30 seconds, something like that. You'll be watching you, make sure you're looking at the mirrors and shit. You gotta call out the cars. Car coming up on left, car coming up on right, car behind us, car in front of us. We don't have to do car in front of us with the side of the bag. Let them know you are Keep paying right. attention. And then exit right. Exit right. Please give me a warning. We're at the border already, ain't we? 123 miles. One, two, three. Let's see. Well, your station bypass service. Have a safe trip, 97,595 six pounds. I've tried to cross this border before with a big oversized load, one of those big, uh, one of those big vessel container things. It didn't happen, it just was not going to go there through it. Had it too close to the road, was way too tight. Yeah, Mexico. We're already at the border, buddy. Continue straight. Then pull on that straight, continue. <whistles> Stopped a little short there. Oh, I don't know. That's my window down. Hola, senor. Nico. Por favor, come to Mexico.
Tell you what, the graphics of this game came a long way from what it used to be back in the day. Hopefully they continue to keep updating it. Scale this, we're supposed to be stopping that. Oh, we stopped that right back there, didn't we? What the fuck am I thinking? Welcome to Mexico, everybody. Hope you guys got your passports out and ready. Keep right. Add the cocaine. 300 tons of cocaine. That'd be a lot. That'd be a lot of fucking cocaine. That'd be an oversized load of cocaine. So the road looks all bumpy, that's a uh, project next gen road texture makes it do that. You better want really bumpy. Well we don't want that fucking bumpy, but sixty kilometers now? This thing doesn't have kilometers on it. Straight long ass road. About a hundred miles. We've been one an hour and three minutes already, I ain't bad. Whoa, where'd that pickup come from? shift gears from a 7 load to 7 high all I had to do is leave a gear we're good on fuel and everything I you know we burnt almost half tanks the last time we filled up Continue straight. Alta no we missed Alta we'll stop back there I got, looks like we got ourselves a convoy. Said I was gonna stop and sleep, huh? Maybe we might do that, find a spot. I don't know, daytime just makes for a better video, really. You better get your passports ready, hide the cocaine. Here we go. We'll use the uh, fast pass or whatever the fuck it's called. Yeah, $25 here, $25 there. She starts adding up after a while. The cool and dime you to death. I like the tow roads up northeast. A mile down the road, there's another tow booth. RG8, ten dollars. They drive down here like kids in New Mexico. I don't know why, but what they act like of it makes it easier for somebody to pass. Since we don't know how fast we're going in kilometers, we're just gonna follow this old dude. Peter better to get the job done, that's for sure. Ooh, we got him a big truck.
see some smoke coming out of the smokestacks on that uh, truck driving uh, school. The world of trucks or whatever it's called, truck world. That'll make some people happy. I don't really care whether it smokes or not, I'll tell you the truth. I mean, it's, it kind of looks nice to have, but it's not really realistic. Not in the U.S. anyway. Every once in a while you see it when the lady cold deer. Not very often though. At least not on the road you go to some of these truck shows and stuff you see it all times. They really get to roll in the cold. Don't really get to flint south when you're not doing nothing. Looking burning diesel fuel, clogging up the turbo, making your injectors dirty. I'm a certified diesel mechanic, so I know all about this shit. No, believe me, check out my uh, Google Google page. You'll see everything on there. My certificate for driving school. My certificate for math and finance to do like taxes, taxes and stuff. Even though I hate math, I had to have the credit, so I did that. I guess it tells me over on GPS how fast to go, doesn't it? I'm oh, a dumbass. Those cracks you see in the road, that's from a mod called the Asphalt Patch. And what it does, it makes it bumpy. Adds bumps and stuff into the road. I don't know if you can find it anymore or not. I downloaded it a long, long, long time ago been many years. Oh my god, just come on over. Oh, engines are singing. It says it's 68 miles an hour, but I don't want to get the federalities on us. Might take a cocaina. If you wanna hang out, you got to take your out of cocaine. Alright, there, buddy. Turn right somewhere down through here. HMS. Alright, y'all. Let's see, if we got a pole there, so we'll have to watch that pole. We got a sign there. Swing it around in here like this. We should clear the pole and everything. You've arrived. It's been my honor and duty to see you through this. Place. Not to back this thing in there. <laughs> Bullshit. Uh, 822 miles, 16 hours, 52 minutes, 204 gallons of burnt fuel. 59,537. That seems like I got ripped off on that deal. 1,891 XP. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to... Don't forget to like. Subscribe. Share. And leave a comment down below. We'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.